Good evening, guys. Ken at Tortoise Capital. Thank you for your patience. Uh, nightly strategy podcast for Friday, December 8th, 2023. I am going to be sore tomorrow. Just had a two and a half hour scrimmage with the kids. Oh. My other coach wasn't there, so I had to do the heavy lifting. All right, we're going to, um, I will just say the, um, the research weekend presentations today were just extraordinary. The, dis the discussion with uh, Jim Carroll on his volatility system, um, it's just astonishing what he's, what he's doing with that system. You know, six times the return of the S&P at reduced risk. Holy smokes. And he's doing that at scale with his clients. Yeah. Well, uh, let's go with the um, hybrid swing, 30 minute charts, starting with uh, Alcoa as usual, 30 minutes. There's the bottoming action. There's the, uh, there's the open, starts running up. Standard entry, standard exit at the VWAP uh, for 1R. Uh, AI, just what a beauty. You know, so yesterday was the, uh, was the gap down into a 10R from this short. And then stalking the sideways quiet channel, which we said, you know, that could be a base. And today it opened and PSAR flipped. So we got one entry, two entries, held support at the dragon and continued, three entries. And I sold two of the three right here for one, two, three, four, five, six. This was 7R, that was 5R. So we cash 12R, and I'm holding uh, 1R in reserve on this one. So got most of it back. Nice. One day recovery. Amazon um, caught a two entry, holding 2R over to weekend. Caterpillar cashed 1R on the opportunity um, gap and go. Cliff. Um, one, two, three short and, and an owl entry as everything rolled over and uh, cash three at the close. Didn't want to hold that one over the weekend. CVS, no trade. I missed the run up. I missed the sell off and I missed the grind in the afternoon. So span of control issues. Disney, no trade. Um, to put a second position on dish on the emerging dragon and that is holding... See, one, two, three, four R overnight. Uh, Devon Energy, a scratch. Um, Electronic Arts. This was a one, two, three entry on the three minute, and it ran up nicely, and we cashed three R in the close. Emerging Markets. Uh, we took the uh, owl entry short when fall turned to winter standard risk box bottoms out so we take the dragon exit cashing about half an hour ethereum got a second position on the emerging dragon and that one is holding seven r uh, as a cushion over the weekend eww tried the um, kata 2 gap and go it ran all the way up and just span of control issues, I ended up scratching it. Just very poorly done. Could not get in the zero state to get short. Could not get in the zero state to play it long. That was just horrible. Uh, Brazil. Um, gap all the way down. It. Uh, this is a hybrid frog entry. And it ran all the way up to 34 and some change. Uh, one R 
give back up here for 3R. It continued to fail, so why not? Picked up an extra R. Ran all the way back down and tested the low and remembered finally to exit here with a 1R, an extra 1R. So that was about 3R on the roller coaster ride. Intel, um, yesterday's uh, entry from the um, SSC continued to work really well. Because we had only one position, uh, this gap and immediate reversal made me stick around and say, well, let's see how much it wants to get back. And it just continued to grind all day. So that was just fortunate um, patience sitting on my hands. And that was about 3R. And holding. Uh, IP, uh, scratch, um, real estate. We covered the uh, owl short for 3R. The the extra hold and then recovery and then taking the standard exit at the skin of the dragon. That should be top shelf in your repertoire. Uh, Coke, we covered the long for a fractional gain. I missed the sell off, I missed the recovery. Um, KRE, this was an emerging dragon and frittered it away and uh, scratched. Wasteful. Um, missed the long and missed the short on Mattel. Let's well, spend more time with the indexes today, to be honest. Uh, McDonald's um, crossing the Bollinger Band main, collapsing Dragon, 2R, didn't want to hold it over the weekend. Merck uh, covered the short for th uh, 3R and uh, missed the run up. Um, I would not have, if I had stopped and reversed here, I would not have held that over the weekend. As long as it's under this crucial price level, I have a short side bias. So I'm just going to stock the short again on uh, Monday. Microsoft, uh, yesterday's Kata 2 got reinforced with a continuation Kata 2 and closed very well. I should have put a third position on in retrospect. That's holding 5R on two positions. Marijuana, next. Um, I think, uh, let's see. Yeah, just no trade. NVIDIA um, got a uh, emerging dragon at the open and holding 2R over the weekend. Clean energy, uh, no trade. Rivian uh, closed the long position for a half an R. Uh, the S&P ran all the way up, ran all the way down, and then closed really, really strongly um, at the end of the day. Just above 460, just amazing move. Treasuries broke down, and that's uh, strengthening the argument for stocks. Uh, Tesla uh, scratched Walmart. Um, this short I hated yesterday. If you were around yesterday... You heard me just whining about why didn't I get out of that. So I managed that one closely. It continued to fail, added a second, and said, why not add a third one, and then covered the whole thing. Uh, so no over the weekend risk, and closed it at the um, skin of the dragon for like the trade of the week. I'm just, I like that one even more than um, AI, although I love AI. This one just felt correct. And mostly it's because... I was able to uh, trade in the opposite direction of my bias in Walmart. You've heard me talk during a week about why I think it should do well in the holiday season, and yet I was able to fo uh, follow the price short, and I'm uh, proud of that. Uh, U.S. Steel, this was a um, crossing the Bollinger Band main, PSAR flip. And it ran all the way up to 36.40, and I had watched it come all the way back and kept half an hour. Just wasteful. Um, let's see. The uh, sniper trade of the day. Let's see if we can find that rascal. Uh,
Yeah, so this was um, uh, AI. So this was yesterday's grinding close. And here was the OR3. So just buy it in the usual way. And then it just flat out exploded. At 4R, I added a second position because I finally woke up. And then that's a 12R exit. Then a scratch uh, after a grinding downward move, and it broke the VWAP. Then I got short, which was a scratch. And then it, it was a Kata 2, which gave another uh, 4R. So that was like 16 for the day. Um, astonishing. That's all I can say on that one. Um, let's go to... Let's go to the traders real quick. Just a handful today. Uh, Gorin, uh, Elker's uh, back into his uh, uh, usual excellence here, um, grinding out 2R in Tesla. Um, straightforward, good signals, good execution, and uh, squeezes another 1.2 out of uh, Amazon. Um, let's take a look here. So this one, he got what was there, got the nice re-entry uh, twice. Um, good stop and reverse to recover after that loss. And notice how he's able to reverse directions pretty nicely. Stays out of the chop. Finally, he gets the emerging dragon and is back to the winning way. So uh, pretty good work in, um, in some tight corners um, in uh, Amazon. Uh, Kevin gets 2.9 and DIA on the three minutes. Does a nice job in the early morning trade and then also uh, the afternoon trade. He got a nice grind. There may have been an extra cut of two here um, that was available. He gets 1.9 out of um, uh, EWZ Brazil and he's able to get uh, on the uh, aligned with the long side move and the short side move and then back to the long side move so he's being adaptable during the day with this uh, uh, with this symbol for an extra 1.9 so nice work and George just absolutely smashes um, AI um, hopefully the discussion we had yesterday uh, uh, helped prep him he got that second position and, a, and third position a lot better than I did I only got two positions and he got four and he crushed the morning uh, the morning trade here um, and uh, and I don't know that I want to take that one short already right there uh, I might wait to see it underneath the um, cross the VWAP before you pick up a short side bias especially after that kind of uh, amazing buying pressure right? um, and then I think that as long as we're north of the VWAP, then you could pick up a K2 right here. Um, that's that. Let's get look at the reports. Bullish quiet, 100% exposed in ETF2 based on the strength of the last 30 days. Um, just an amazing run. This is a historic run in the 30 day, uh, the last 30 days here. Um, the three the three day look is an emerging dragon that's very positive and an emerging dragon here on the nine day and we're pushing near to all time highs after this uh, after that rebound that's really quite a heck of a move it's not unusual that you see the index recover faster than it's sold off normally it's fast sell-off and a grinding recovery but man this thing just powering forward and we've seen those let's look at the uh, blended monthly rebalancing portfolios um, strength in the US and tech and the Russell's starting to make a move in the small caps let's keep that in mind um, Boeing and 3M and the industrials. Um, not much.
much else to mention in here. Let's go uh, on the daily. Yeah, this is what I want to look at. So, uh, Apple and Boeing and Goldman Sachs, the leaders. So that's old school, uh, old school tech and finance, and just basic uh, industrials. Uh, the weakness in Walmart. I have to believe that that's a buy on dip opportunity. I mean, how could you be a fund manager and not be salivating at the sight of Walmart on sale in the holiday season? Um, because of the range compression, the auto framers starting to show up, but there's there's a lot of energy like. Oil, ExxonMobil, oil exploration, mixed commodity, which is a large energy energy component, and the energy sector itself. I get it, energy. Um, on the squeezes, uh, Home Depot and the energy sector, even Tesla getting squeezed. I like that. That's actually a very good sign. Most everything... Uh, responded to this very strong move today. You can see Goldman at a 328 on the two-day index. Holy smokes. And Apple with a great recovery run here. Is that the holidays? There must be, I bet you there's some holiday sales news that's getting everybody's attention there too. And the S&P just couldn't be any happier. Look at the bright green all the way across the board. All right, that's everything uh, we got for today. Um, we've we'll, got a couple more uh, presentations tomorrow and Sunday to work on the um, uh, and some great ones next week as well. I mean, uh, the folks that have been able to sit in um, are pretty happy. Uh, and uh, I'd encourage you to consider uh, joining us. And uh, Bill, did you, uh, did you upload some charts? Oh, yeah, yeah, just two. I just wanted to show the natural progression of, of adding uh, a position in my system. Yeah, well, it takes so it takes so long to do. <laughs> it, it, Thirty seconds. Yep. Go ahead. So this is what uh, I was looking at today. Uh, started inauspiciously with Ethereum. This green box is actually two R because I'm trading it. Um, what I'm trying to do is build uh, more positions for a uh, the nine day trade that I already have going. So um, I was I was looking through this. So if we switch to the next one, uh, I was deciding whether or not to hold this on an intraday uh, trade overnight, and then I checked the other chart and realized that I was getting close to another two R. Um, there it was coming there. So it's close enough to that two R that I said, you know what, I'll just, I'll just keep it as my next two R battle drill. So before April, we got in uh, to Ethereum right around eight bucks. Each of those big boxes there is a two R battle drill. Uh, I'm missing in here. Um, or actually this is four R. I apologize. Um, these are these are four hours worth of a MMRB for the uh, for the uh, uh, nine day because we should be be going between two and five R uh, execution risk for our MMRB. So I chose four, um, but I just decided you know I'm just going to keep this one and let it keep working because this this signal is so much stronger than what it has been for the last eight months. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Yep. So. That's uh that's looks it. good. All right. All right, we'll get this published Thanks. and posted. Thanks. Uh all of the briefings from today are uploaded and uh the one from Jim Carroll is is worth its weight in gold. I mean that is money. That's what a pro sounds like. And uh, the guys are, the real, guys are amazing. Yep, the a real pleasure to have him come and work with us. All right guys, we'll we will catch you tomorrow. Storytelling in the morning. And um uh, some briefings around noon. Take good care.